and it says, but the words which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord God. The, Lord, the word that he has spoken, according to this Bible, shall be done. That's it on that. Uh, give me uh, Isaiah 95. Book of Isaiah. Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Got it, huh? and, the, and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fear of fire. It says for every battle of the war, warrior is with confused noise. Because when you go back into the, the ancient times, right, when you when you when you when you heard it, when it got ready for war, you would hear the troops marching, you would hear the ground thumping. You would hear you would hear chariots rolling. You would hear men sharpening their swords. You would hear men actually practicing in battle, practicing before they would go to war, right? But in this time, this is 2015. What do you hear? You hear you hear armored tanks cranking up. You hear the F-20s, the F-22s, uh, firing up, right? You hear the, you hear the the trains rolling on the, the railheads. You hear you hear chains uncoupling to take off take off those tanks off those of your head. Let's just match. You hear, you hear the sound of a politician spitting a rhetoric trying to tell you war is inevitable. We gonna have peace. You hear them on you hear them on these news stations. This is the battle. This is the confused noise you hear, and it says. It says, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be the burning and fuel of fire. Because, why? Sorry. Yeah, because why? When you watch that movie Terminator, Sarah Connor, when she was uh, sitting at that picnic table and had that vision, it showed you in Terminator how America got hit with thermonuclear destruction. See, the, see the, the Hollywood know what's going to happen to America. That's why you had the guy that made Titanic, the Titanic movie, get up out of here, man, because he know what's coming. You see, the higher up, the higher up elites, they know what's coming to America. You see, that's why they make movies like uh, Atlas Shrugged, Atlas Shrugged 1 and 2, okay? That's why they made Fast and Furious, things like that, because they know uh, 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 the last the last Fast and Furious, they show you in that movie about the uh, so-called Eye of God. What they want to do is chip everybody and be able to uh, pinpoint where everybody at, man. That's in the scriptures, man. So they know this place is coming to an end, man. In that movie, uh, uh, Sam Jackson was in. What? Kingsman. Yeah, the Kingsman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Kingsman. Yeah, they showed you the movie Kingsman. And then when they was up in that church, when they was up in that church, uh, and he was controlling everybody, and they was killing each other, when they were panning out, uh, they showed the sign on the uh, 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 on uh, the sign beside the church, and it said America is doomed. They already it showed you in there, man. They show you in the movies. They show you in uh, Minority Report. Minority Report with uh, Tom Cruise. What they want to do to everybody? That's why they want the police officers to wear them uh, the cameras because that's gonna be face recognition. That's what it's really all about. Cause even when you even when you uh, uh show what was going on in the uh, uh the footage from the police officers, they still make up a lie. They still try to uh, hit you with them strong delusions as if you not seeing what you seeing. So it ain't about the, it ain't about them uh capturing uh what the police officers are doing. It's about uh face recognition. That's why they wanna uh, put them cameras on the police officers. Go ahead, come. This some twenty one and eight. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Yeah, the right hand is who the world enemy called Jesus. You see? And the ones that hate thee, it was our enemies, are these other nations, man. They hate the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. Which they stole this land and they'll tell, tell uh, the so-called natives and the so-called Mexicans that they're illegal aliens. You out of your mind. Right. And then brought us over here and expect for us to get about all the atrocities and all the destruction that happened to a people, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, expect for us to get over it. Expect for the uh, payback not to come. Give me Isaiah uh, 55 and 8. Come on. They say you're going to find out who they are, too. You said you're going to find out when, as soon as martial law gets here. Right, and even even when the Lord, even when the Lord come back, he tell you in Revelation, 
the, the first chapter that them men, that them, uh, them Romans, them Edomites that stuck him with that's the nation of these so-called white people. Them Edomites that stuck him on that cross, he said they're going to be living today and he's going to get them when he come back. Isaiah 55 and 8. Isaiah 55 and 8. Okay. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. So that's what we tell these heathens out here. They say, well, you got to forget about the past. You got to forget about slavery. The Heavenly Father said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. See, you, 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 you want us to forget about the past, but the Heavenly Father don't forget. You see, you got to pay for all that. Just like when you sit down at a table and you are uh, 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 eating that dinner and everybody get up and leave. And you the only one there, you gotta pay for that tab. Same way with these so-called white people. They gotta pay for the tab if their ancestors have committed or the atrocities against the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Great robbery and murder, man. Uh, Go ahead. Says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. This is not the King James Bible. Go ahead. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Go ahead. It says, for his heavens are higher than the earth. For so heaven is higher than the earth. The heavens is higher than the earth. Go ahead. So are so are my ways higher than your ways. So is his ways higher than your ways. Go ahead. And my thoughts than your thoughts. So the destiny that you think you got planned on this earth, the whole the heavenly father got a whole nother destiny for you, which is destruction and going into slavery for a thousand years. Go ahead. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven. So the heavenly father created all them things and you seeing them going forth right now. You see those things before your eyes every day that them uh, uh, uh that the snow come down, that the rain come down. The heavenly father called that to, to happen like that. And I know mother nature. You, are, you are out of your mind. Go ahead. And return of not thither. And return of not thither because it, they go out. Those things happen and do what they're supposed to do. And they don't go out a uh, uh, void. They don't uh, not accomplish what they're supposed to accomplish. Go ahead. But water the earth and make it bring forth a bud mm -hmm. that it may give seed to the sower. That's why you got That's why you got plants and trees and, and things of that nature growing. Because that's what the rain do. Water the earth. But you got these Edomites uh, uh, putting chemtrails in the sky, burying them in the ammonia, and breaking down your immune system, a slow death. Go ahead. Done. And bread to the eater. And then they'll pollute the water and come back and sell it to you. You see? Pollute the water and come back and sell it to you where you have to buy water, purify water. That's pure madness, man. When you go into history, the natives, the natives, the, the water so pure, they can take baths in and drink out of it. Go over there in the Arkansas River and take a bath in there and drink out of that. You better not have a cut on you. You're going to drop dead before you get out of there. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It shall not return unto him void because the destruction is supposed to come to America and it don't happen, man. Why well, I say go uh, uh, give me uh, 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 Matthew 24 and 38. And, and give me 2 uh, Peter 2 and 2. was you would that's like when you wake up in the morning you can see that dew on the ground and moisture on the ground that's what it used to do before it rained just moisture just come up so Noah was telling them look it's gonna flood the heavenly father gonna flood the earth for all this wickedness that's happening on the earth but they didn't believe it they thought it was crazy they thought it was sick they didn't believe him go ahead for as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking and yeah. marrying see that what they got that what they doing now Eating and drinking and marrying. You see that? Same thing they do, were doing during the time of Noah. Go ahead. It says it's giving into marriage. And giving into marriage. Go ahead. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Go ahead. And knew not until the flood came. And knew not until the flood came. Okay? And knew not until the flood came. 
So, so they didn't recognize what Noah was saying was true until the flood came. Same way we we out there prophesying about the downfall of America. You think America gonna last forever? And you think Russia and China and North Korea and Iran is not gonna shoot missiles on America? You out your mind? Because the reason why you think that because you think uh, America never never can be invaded or they ain't never been invaded. But it's gonna happen. Thus said the Bible, the King James Bible. Go ahead. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. And took them all away. Same way with this thermonuclear destruction that's coming. Gonna take these people all away, gonna wipe them out, and America gonna be a desert on the earth. Go ahead. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So he gonna appear or pop up on you like a thief in the night. A thief don't tell you when he finna come. He don't tell you, call you and say, hey, I'm finna break in your house. Watch out. He just come on in. Same way with the Lord. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. The one shall be taken and the other left. What's that talking about? Being beamed up. Just eating them cherries. Huh? Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. One shall be taken and the other left. It says, watch therefore, for ye know not the hour that the Lord doth come. Yeah, and what that's talking about, that's symbolic for the nation of Israel because the heavenly father look at the nation of Israel as a woman. Uh, give me that in, uh, what's that, Jerem Jeremiah chapter 6. Calmly and delicate woman. Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughters of Zion to a calm and delicate, delicate woman. That's plain. And it says, Matthew 24 and 43, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. That is so good. Therefore, be ye always ready, for it is such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. That's right. Sir. 